My Welcome goodness. to Smeko, right. dude. I'm torqued up. I'm ready to go. This episode right. was awful, dude. And I'm ready to go into it. You know, excellent. And can I tell I'm you good. why? Why? Because I want to listen. I want you all to listen. Yeah. Who's oh. here today? Who's here? Hey, hey, oh, hey. Just... Ty, you yeah, here? Me. Yeah, I'm here. It's uh, Joe, where's Pete at? He said he's here, right? Where's Pete at? I'm, hello, where's I'm raising Pete? my hand. Hello, hi. Peter? Pete, Pete, he's where's... he went with uh, he went with Bill Clinton to fight the good fight in Kosovo. Oh my gosh! Okay, Damn. sick. Yeah, dude. he's Damn. he's he's doing he's doing the Lord's work over there. So, uh, yeah. America, you are my best friend. Thank you, Pete. Yep, and yeah, Pete's lighting up Rome again. But <laughs> incredible, dude. Well, what I really want to say is. Look at me and Joe. Hello. Yeah. We used to not be here, right? We used to be raw down. But now we are now the new pinnacle of Smack Up. It's true. We are the dynamic duo of this. The old god has left and in with the new revolution. This, this we is are the, f- the Erotica Express. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the Erotica Express, dude? <laughs> the revolution will Hell not be yeah. televised. The, rel- the revolution will hit your RSS Erotic feed. Joe and Erotic Nico are too powerful. You cannot do this, dude. No. <laughs> the Erotic... <laughs> Carmella, can you please here? get the Undertaker gone? This this is definitely the first episode without either Naram or Pete. So this is this is terrifying for me. Ed. I'm gonna kill you. New revolution, baby. No more. No more. <laughs> We're no here. more. We're here. This is our show now. For now. We'll kick you yeah. out too. Don't make us We're, do that, Ty. We're taking. We're taking over like ECW. You know what's you know what's funnier than night. anything else? We're in Wheeling, West Virginia today. It's June 9th. Ah, oh, that is. In With the, Pennsylvania, the we're in the West Banco Arena. Did you say Pennsylvania? We're not in Pennsylvania. Yeah. You're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> we're not in Pennsylvania, dude. You're get a pen sliding down your vania. Ooh. Oh my Ooh. goodness, dude! This show's already off the fucking rails. <laughs> <laughs> What's the West Banco? Arena but you know who? Dude? But you know who isn't off the rails because. They're hitting the rails. What is it? It's Mike the Miz. William Regal. <laughs> oh yeah, Mike the Miz. Wow, well, they can They share. They shared. They shared the line. Yeah, yeah. They share the line. They share the straws. Miz comes out here, and let me tell you, this guy is going to be a future, like world champion. I can see it. I don't see it. He's going to have legendary battles with a, a wrestler that's way better than him. That is also from Ohio with blonde hair. Oh yeah. Who, who who we have not seen on TV yet? Trust me, believe it. Okay, sure. Believe yeah, it for it. What else we got? Oh wait, no, he's introducing the show. Is he the host today? He's the he host just... again. Yeah. This is this is the he's been the host every episode since Judgment Day. So that's crazy. He he eradicated that bum, Palmer Cannon from the UPN network. He, and uh, this is the Mike, the the Miz show, the Mike the Miz Mizanin show. He's like, guys, guess what? We got a main event tonight. It's uh, Rey Mysterio versus Finley, and I'm like, are you are you fucking serious, dude? And a summer kickoff bikini contest. Ooh. This is the fucking oh go home show. My. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh my! I bet the I bet the Raw go home show didn't have a bikini contest. No. no. See? No, they didn't. Bums. Bums. Now, now, Nico, Wait. you got your William Regal coming out with his new music. Uh, I just said he was hitting the rails. No, but he's coming out here. He's here. It's first... Yeah, he, he yeah, he's, he's definitely hit the rails because he came out. He said, yo, all hail King Booker, my dogs. And then chanted all hail King Booker for three actual minutes. All uh, hail King Booker! Was, all hail King was, Booker! All hail I, King Booker! Until he was finally, finally jumped from the crowd by Bobby Lashley for making him, for him and Finley making Bobby kiss King Booker's feet last week. Oh he was passed God. out. They made him smooch up his big toe. It was disgusting. I'd be pissed if I was Bobby too. Right. Yeah. It's the it, it turns into a pull apart brawl. And then uh, the Mac Militant uh, SmackDown general Coming manager, Peter Long, comes out. Says, Playa, William Regal, you got Bobby tonight. And Bobby, 
If you win, I'll give you King Booker. I'll give you King Cracker. <laughs> is that William Regal? Is he King Cracker? Yeah. Oh my god. So that's how we opened the show. That's crazy. It was a hot opening. That was wild. Uh, yeah. They're beating the shit out of each other. Bobby on the screen for two minutes yeah. and is already sweaty. Yeah. That man is dripping. How just, does he do it? Just like me, because guess what, guys? Batista returns to SmackDown in 28 days. I'm so ready for my, my man to come back. A beautiful, we get a beautiful promo package for him, too, of all of his accomplishments in the past when he was the world champion, WWE champion. Just absolutely Batista bombing other bums. We're back. We're so back, baby. We need to inject that yeah. man into this show. Stat. It is dying. I need a big homie. Is it not? I feel like it's dying. I feel like every fucking week it's the same bullshit. <laughs> at least on Raw, nah. the dumb bullshit <laughs> ends up at meaning something. It might mean something here, brother. Or maybe I don't not. think so. I don't think so. Because guess what? Match one? Yeah. What? We got Super Crazy coming out. Was he coming out in the Juan Deer? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, Super yeah. Crazy being a company to the ring by Psychosis and Juan Deer's number one and two. Sick. And then uh, fighting Brian Kendrick. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, I remember that. I remember those guys. Apparently, on the commentary, they said that Super Crazy and Psychosis picked up a win over <laughs> Kendrick and London on Velocity. Michael like, Cole does say the velocity, me? the last velocity episode, uh, prior to this SmackDown episode airing. So, that might also just be the last velocity episode. Like since that is coming yeah, to an end. Yeah, I think so. no, no, no. It's the previous one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got the last velocity coming up, guys. <laughs> velocity Heat is dead. If well, we Velocity Heat is yeah. dead. We're canceling it. Uh, oh. And with the the destruction of that, uh, we got our sponsors, baby. Already? Velocity, heat, no money. You know what brings in the money? Adam Sandler's click. Yes. That's right, baby. Put it on the list. I'm this movie's actually good, and I'm I can't so wait. I'm so fucking excited. I actually do enjoy <laughs> that movie. Oh, yeah. I do. I, I do, too. I haven't seen it forever, but. You know what else I enjoy? I do. A nice cold cut. Nintendo, Nintendo oh. DS. It's okay to touch. <laughs> and then, and then also it Subway. Is. Eat fresh. My bad. It's okay to touch your meatball sub. I wonder what coach double is up pepperoni, to double I... pepperoni, double provolone. I haven't been on yeah. Raw in ten years. I wonder what uh, coach has been up to after eating that meatball sub. Well, I heard he's not on the Man, show anymore. You... So he died. Yeah, he's kind of dead. You want me to... He yeah, got a yeah. tuna. He got a tuna. He got a tuna sub though. That's why. Oh, okay. You know, you don't order that dog. Come on. You, he they ordered oh. that at one p.m. that day, and then he had to eat the tuna sub at like room nine thirty. Yeah, room temp. Room temperature at nine thirty. Eight out. Eight and a half hours later, like, coach, he's got the mud butt, dude. He's out of here. <laughs> the mud butt. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Ew. He's muddy. He, he, dude. He's he's got he, he's got the he's got the shit that that Kenny's got. Kenny! Mikey! No, Omega. Oh. The real Kenny. Yeah, I'm not going to say that on oh, camera. Oh, diverticulated? Yeah, dude. Oh. Do, not eat, do not eat the Subway tuna. It will give you diverticulitis. <laughs> and that's a, that's, that's, a a, that's a smack up fact of the night. Don't ever fact check me. Going off velocity, this match was actually pretty, pretty solid. I really enjoyed this match. Kendrick and it Crazy. You didn't like it? No. Why? Tell me tell me why you didn't like it before I tell you why I liked it. Uh, are you talking about uh, Brian Ke Yes, uh, the opening match. Uh, Brian Kendrick and Paul and it's super crazy? Yeah. Because, like, the Maxicools are, like, without a doubt, the greatest babyface faction of all time. Okay. At least watching tag teams right now. These Kendrick and Paul London fellas... They're trying to babyface it, and I didn't like the psychology of it. Babyface versus babyface? I mean... Yeah, I'm not a fan. I guess at the end segment part, I mean, Psychosis kind of being like a cowardly cowardly heel, I guess. 
Yeah, a little bit, but like you can't be a heel and come out on tractors. It's too cool. It's, you're right. Like it's just impossible. I know, like they did a little bit, but it's like, you know, I don't know. It's just the, the psychology was off. Like the move sets fine and all. They did some interesting stuff, but like it's I like... kind of zoned out on this one. This was not a the most entertaining match of the night. Like you got this shit right to build up tag team. When this could easily be the cruiserweight title, but we can't, we don't ever see Gregory Helms do shit because he's always injured. No. They don't give a fuck about that belt, man. He's injured and on the no. chicken and asparagus. So P- plus he has two yeah. minus two knees from being the hurricane. Yeah, man. It's I don't bad. know. It's yeah. tough. When's the last time we saw him? Judgment Day. Yeah. He was on he also... last week. Uh, oh, no, was it last week? <laughs> I don't remember. It was on a while ago. He was watching the... It, yeah, it would have been Judgment Day, yeah. Okay, never mind. Because yeah, he fought crazy. Yeah. Oh, and that match was bad because Gregory Helms he, can't he, keep up. He either, he either needs to show up more uh, as the original bisexual Undertaker or just fucking drop the title because what are we doing here? Exactly. He came here, won the match, won the title on a what, like a battle royale. It was in the Royal Rumble. How, however many months ago? Yeah, pay per view. Yeah, that pay per view. He won in the six man challenge. Yeah, well, same difference. Like, come on, man, let's let's do something here. You got Funaki fighting Mike Knox on, on a <laughs> dark match. Was it a dark match or was it like an actual velocity match? According to Online World of Wrestling, it was a dark match. Oh, okay. So yeah, it doesn't matter. That don't count. That don't count. Yeah, well, that means nobody saw it except for the people there. Yeah. 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 Give, it to, give it to Gunnar Scott. Yeah. I'm sure he can he can cut. <laughs> we'll never see that man again. Fuck True. you. <laughs> that man was like a blur. He's, why did he cut himself? I, I mean, cut weight. Oh, cut weight. Yeah, well, he's no. on the chicken and asparagus. Yeah. I thought he fired himself from the roster or something. He's like, I'm cutting myself from this roster. He might. He might have been gone because I never see him. Do you? No. Exactly. Mm, so this nah, match. Hey, hey, we could actually start talking about this match. We could. We could well, start at, at nine minutes and eighteen seconds on the Peacock episode. You can hear Taz say "Super Crazy," <laughs> literally like that exactly. So, fans, you can pause the episode. You can go check that out. It's a really fun time. That's crazy. That's so please, crazy. Please proceed. Yeah, you know, I, I really liked how they were constantly like countering each other's moves. It felt real like modern. Like I keep saying that with Kendrick matches and super crazy. It's just people really watched this shit and said, yeah, I can do that. And now everyone's doing this shit. Maybe that's why you didn't like it, Nico. But like you got to no, put your 2006 like brain in. Nico, ah. Nico don't like the indie jobbers, brother. Uh, fair enough. He came, yeah. he came, he came like to this... smack up for Mark Henry for the meat. This is true. But it's also, like I said, in these kinds of matches, like if you're going to do like kind of more like a straight, like I feel like you should, I don't know, build it up a little bit, you know, because if you're just having two faces, like fight each other, four faces, it's like, there's no actual heat to the match. It's just a match. So at least get a more like, this is about respect. This is about skill, something, but I didn't think they sold it. Some of the moves were fine, but, you know, there were some slower putts, too. It was fine. It's just, I didn't like it. Okay. Yeah, there was lots of uh, rolling and flipping transitions into pins, hand locks, like uh, he headstands. Lot, lots of surfboard transitions, too. Um, there was a and there was a bomb. moment at the, There was a... What was there? There was a spinning Liger bomb. That was really cool. Yeah, that was insane. At the beginning of the match, they did, like, embrace each other, you know? And then Psychosis was kind of, like, yeah. trying to, like, touch Paul London a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, the poke at him, mess with him. You know? Which was, like... I understand. Like, there's really, yeah, no heat for this. Um, and I hope in the coming weeks this doesn't become a thing where you have the tag team sort of do these 800 different... Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you. Oh, I go over this week. I go over this nope, week. No, that's never going to like stop. How Lond- like how London and Kendrick did with Eminem. That's a... The build up to Judgment Whoa. Day. That's a Vince McMahon thing. The spoiler. The 50-50 shit. Oh, uh, yeah. It is. Yep. But... Well, I'm hoping know. it doesn't it happen. Will... I know it will, but I'm hoping it doesn't. 
Yeah. So call me. Yeah, uh, let, me let me run through the end of this real quick. Um, the counters out of a power bomb gets a tornado DDT. Uh, Kendrick did that, and he goes up top. But crazy gets back up, hits him in the fucking face over and over again, and they start beating each other up. Crazy somehow gets the better of that, and then hits a fucking top rope Spanish fly, which was fucking sick as shit. Blew my fucking dick off, and they got the win. Crazy pinned the tag team champion in about eight minutes. Which so again, they match. get a match. I I hope they do because they already beat him on velocity and in a singles contest. So. I don't know. They didn't really announce like, oh, uh, tag team. You know, I'm already tired of uh, Kendrick in London, so I'm fine. With this. Really? Well, that's fine. You know who else? You know who else is tired of them? Hey, buddy guy. The, the great Dalip Singh. I love the great. He's Kali. sick of he's sick of these these dorks. He's come down to the ring sweating, meaty. He got those fire in his eyes. The white Siberian tiger. <laughs> The, the Bengali tiger, the great Kali. He comes into the ring, boom, boom, picks up Kendrick, who's still reeling from the Spanish fly. Paul London leaves the match, the ring. I was like, where's he going? He just left. No, he wants to go get a steel chair and hit Kali in the back. He doesn't care. He double headbutts Kendrick and London with his own head. Uh, London rolls out, picks up Kendrick, but the. Body throw him out of the ring onto Paul, uh, London. Devastating. He targets on Super Crazy, or rather on on Psychosis, who's in the corner with Super Crazy. Psychosis backs out of the ring and like is crying on the guardrail. And then Kali's like, oh, "Okay, I'll beat up this other Mexican guy." Rolls Super Crazy through, uh, basically through the uh, turnbuckle. It's Psychosis again tries to get in the ring. Kali looks at him, uh, and Psychosis leaves again. Kali hits super crazy with a headbutt. Psychosis tries to get in the ring one more time, but only gets halfway through the bottom rope. And Kali's like, don't even try it, brother. And he reels out again, and now uh, Psychosis is hiding behind the audio guy Psychosis by the Psychosis just keeps table. fucking flipping around, too. Like, he's, like, trying to run away and tripping every single time he gets away from him. So like you know, like he gets him with the boogie slam. Kali kills super crazy, and Psychosis ends up running up to the top of the apron, and then he goes all the way up to the top of the ring, and he's just flipping over. He's just flipping around. Like, please don't kill me, Kali. Kali's not gonna catch you, dude. I promise you. You're <laughs> you're already yeah. away from him. He's gone. And this this is another peak Vince McMahon booking decision. Why do they hate the tag champ so much? Big, strong... <laughs> Yeah, I have a big, strong man. How do we make him look super big, strong, and in, like and unstoppable? Oh, let's beat up the tag champs and two other guys because you know, fuck the tag division. Nobody actually cares. Why? Like, we just have it because we have to. But we need to get this big guy over. And uh, our excuse that why they're not geeks is uh, well, I mean, they just had a match, right? They're kind of tired, even though none of them felt like they're too tired to fight back. Except for psychosis, it's just fine. Like a coward. Peop- yeah, yeah, it's fine. They're all st- the the fans are stupid. We gotta sell the great Kali, and it it, it it's shit for the tag team. Like you're know, like, wh- why why is an Alice one? It's like well, great Kali shows up. Why would I give two fucks? Why would anyone? I really don't know. It, but so like, unfortunately, and unless they're doing something interesting. Which will get to interesting later. <laughs> this, I, I I do not care about the tag teams. They suck. They they all suck. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sucks that they really just botch these fucking tag teams over and over and over again. And no matter what brand it is, Vince just hates tag team wrestling. It's true. It's true. We don't get a real tag team until the new day, though. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, come on. Which is funny because. It's true, and I never expected a new day to actually be like this giant tag team they became. But fuck, it basically took till then. I mean, they're the only reason the Usos became like a good tag team because without that feud when they transitioned out of the old gimmick, like nobody gave. Yeah, a when when, the when they stopped dancing and doing face paint, and then they did the Uso penitentiary. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah, because yeah, there's, no, there's so, no other I, tag team at all before that. Uh, yeah. So I, who, what are we getting? Jericho and Big Show in o, in 09? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, show? Yeah. yeah, sweet. Team Hell No, I all guess. All right, no, hold on. We get the best tag oh, team of all no, time oh, yeah, later yeah. this year, so don't even don't even stunt with me. But it's on Raw, we unfortunately. Get we get the best tag team of all time. They're kind of washed, but we'll see. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, you don't <laughs> this even know run is wa- this, run is, uh, this run is washed, dog. All right. I, I, I don't know who you're talking about, so I guess I'll have to see. All right. Earlier this week, Paul Heyman says, hey, Ray, come on down to ECW after one night stand. We want you, dude. I don't even remember. Was that on the head-to-head? When did this happen? I don't the, I, I don't. After the match, after they come back from commercial, of the drubbing of the tag teams, Michael Cole and Taz have the camera on them. And Michael Cole explains that there was a rumor, uh, a story above, of a rumor published on WWE.com of how Paul Heyman ex- might ha- may have extended an offer to World Heavyweight Champion Rey Mysterio for him to come to ECW. Of course, Taz is ecstatic about this, uh, being an ECW homer. He's like, hey, ECW, no matter how One Night Stand plays out June 11th, uh, if Sabu wins, he'll bring the title, and it'll be the ECW Championship. If Rey Mysterio retains and is going to join ECW, then Rey Mysterio would then become the ECW champion. So that is kind of the rumor, and it kind of sort of plays through uh, tonight. We'll we'll hear from Rey as well about it. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll face, we'll see if he can beat the allegations and if he's going to ECW or not. We'll see. Crystal Marshall's backstage we'll interviewing Finley, and she's like, Finley. I need to know something about you. He's like, yes, yes, Crystal, yes. I don't care if that's Scottish. And then he just covers, or, or he goes, hey, listen, Finley. Get your hands off of her. Listen, listen, Finley. Talking what about the little, little about the little guy? And then she, he grips her up, grips her mouth up and goes, hey, lad, I ain't talking about that. Everyone wants to know if Mysterio will defect ECW, but he really does not give a shit. He doesn't even care if he goes to the World Cup and they use his head as a freaking soccer ball or football. He also doesn't care hold about on, hold the on, hold on. Iran nuclear I, program. You, yeah, he's like, do people want to know about global warming? Do they want to know about the Iran nuclear program? No. No, <laughs> they don't. They want to know about Ray defecting to ECW or not. Right? Like, dude, just throwing out, like, it's so weird watching like this going like, you know, and this is a Vince McMahon show, and it like, yeah. Oh, you want to talk about global warming or the Iran nuclear plan? It's it, it's such a whiplash with how dumb these shows can be. True. Well, you it's see, like, man, his name is Finley, and I, he I likes to fight. Do. I think the fans do want to know Finley's opinion on the Iran nuclear deal. We got to have a Rey Mysterio versus Finley debate next week. I, I think like Ireland would be Ireland. very uh, invested in what Iran has to do with the nuclear program. Is the uh, is the World Cup happening? Is that why? Uh, <laughs> is that why they're talking about that? Could be happening. It's in July or we're in June, so I mean it should be coming up. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Who yep. won that year? Who yep. won that year? Oh, Italy won. Heck, <laughs> poof! Freaking Italy, dude! Are you kidding me? Speaking of Italians. Oh, hey, man, did, 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 did. we got Vito wearing his dress. Did, am I out of order again? Or is he just talking the nuns uh, here, right? Did, did you so finish? the way the scene... So, okay, so to, to, put a, to put a bow on Finley, he ungrips Crystal. Get your hands off of her, you freak. Uh, and he yes. says, I'm Finley, and I'm going to beat the hell out of anybody. Mm-hmm. And then yep. we get Nunzio addressing the locker room. Uh, yeah, cruiserweight right. cruiserweight champion Gregory Helms, looking very bisexual <laughs> in a shirt that does not fit in a necklace that is too tight. Uh, we're also addressing Simon Dean, uh, Jamie Noble, oh, Kid and Cash, Kid, Kid Cash. Kid Cash is there, yeah. And they're all grilling him. He's like, "What's going on with your boy?" And he's like, "There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him." And then, and then Vito pulls up in his dress, his white dress. He's like, "Hey, what's up, boys? What's going on?" Kick Cash looks at him. He's like, "Isn't this the men's locker room?" Of course, he would say that. 
Shut up, Kid Cash. Yeah. You idiot. You bum. You bozo. Dude. And then Nunzio's you... like, yeah, it is. Did like, I see what? Dude, did you see Jamie Noble fucking checking out Vito? He's like standing oh, he, down and up and he's shit. He's looking like... straight at his fucking his cleavage, dude. I swear, dude. His eyes do yeah. not leave. Dude, they don't. And he's like grabbing that chain real tight. He's holding onto. It's like, oh my. See, at least yeah, he, water, he drools at least a little. His, water... his mouth is a gate. Yeah, he and maybe a little pre coming there too. Something. I he. I think he's interested. <laughs> Which, I, don't, I don't think Vito's gay. I just, I just think he likes to wear dresses, and that's great. But you know, He's I'm just, just saying, Jamie Noble looking a little creamy. He's looking a little creamy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my God. Creamy Noble. You've got, you've got you've got Jamie Noble creamed to the gills, and Simon that's Dean right. also touching the chain that Jamie Noble has uh, wrapped around his neck. Simon Dean was not uh, as uh, tolerant and and, of that. and he. And he addresses the rest of the crew, the the loser weights. And he says, "I think I, I got some protein shakes. I think I got three protein shakes." And then, and Gray Holmes is like, "Do you have some for me?" And he's like, "I got whatever you need, big dog." So they all leave, uh, you know, to go get their cream shakes. And Vito's like, "Well, what's going on? Let's talk about the ball game. What's going on, big boys?" <laughs> like, oh. Come on, let's talk about the let's, ball game. Let's talk about the ball game. The cameraman does a L. Ele- Cameraman, what are you doing? This is a sh- PG show. Cameraman did a e- elevator eyes to Vito. All right, just because he looked a little succulent doesn't mean you can do that to him. All yeah, right, it's a little fucky. And uh, Vito's like, "What was that about?" And Nunzio's like, there, "Look, what are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? You're a, you're a paisano. All right, you come out here." Dressed in public like this, Vito's like, I don't care. Who cares about that? And Nunzio's like, are you trying to embarrass me? And Vito's like, nah, no, 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 come on. And Nunzio's like, after all these years, I've, I've been protecting your secret. And then he like cuts himself off. He's like, you're a paisan, come on. And Vito's like, look, I don't care what nobody says. I don't give a damn about what you think or what you're protecting. I protect you. You're the little one in this. I'll beat your ass. I'm the strongest man in a dress ever. We got a match, you toothpick, you nasty. Okay. He's going to beat his ass tonight. I can't wait. Yeah, I- I'm excited. I-, I think Nunzio needs to get an ass whooping. Very uh, disrespectful lately. So that leads into Vito versus Nunzio. And uh, Vito got new music. It's pretty fucking like, <laughs> Mortal Kombat sounding. Pretty crazy. Yeah, they might they might have guidoed like, it up. A little bit, a little mm-hmm. bit, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, this is definitely a little This is like anytime they give you like the preset music in the WWE games. I'm digging and it. And it's like Yeah, it's it's not bad. It it kinda and he's like looking intense and shit. It it's like His power I, walks I the know, ring I is. I kinda insane. wish he walked it is. I was going to just talk about that power walk. It is insane. <laughs> and you know what? It works because it's so bizarre seeing a power walk like that in this fucking dress. Like I said, not that it's bad, but it's like it. it's such a contrast that I, I think it kind of works. He's working it and twerking it, and I love it. Mm-hmm. I'm, ready to, I'm ready to see him fight. Nunzio comes out the same music. He's all fired up. And uh, I think Vito just said... Fuck this dude, hardcore style. Because then he just fucking kills Nunzio <laughs> so bad, dude. Mm-hmm. He overpowers him. Nunzio cannot do fucking shit. Um, at the end, yeah. he uh, hits a boot. Nunzio tries to get a front drop kick off the second rope, but uh, gets a two count. Vito then stops him with a right fucking hand, kills him, and then he hits the sickest fucking spinning DDT I've ever seen. They think what well, they call it the forget about it. Yeah. Yeah. Forget about it. Hold on, man. Did and you miss away? the panty shot? Did they go panty shot? Vito. Yeah. The cameraman once again is fucking on Vito. We get a little bit of an upskirt, and Vito's got on a, a white thong, which oh, no. good for him. Yeah, and you can hear like I don't know how you missed that because the crown audibly gasps seeing this shot. I apologize. They're like, yeah, they're like, what the. It, it didn't like, seem I, out of the ordinary I, I like, for me. 
Yeah. Taz no. is well, trying. It's only out of the door. Yeah, it was only for that one shot, and, and then after yeah. that, Taz, Taz is trying to sort of make sense of this in his own way. He's like, "Well, <laughs> you know, Vito, I know him. He's a tough guy. You know, dress or not, you know, he's gonna he's gonna beat you down." Which, like, yeah, you know, yeah, if his wrestling is gonna he's gonna beat you down. That's really what you know. Taz sort of looks at you know more than anything is. You know, do your business, do your thing in the ring. You know, so Taz uh, is a confirmed ally, I think. We hope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we can and... confirm that. That uh, this is this is yeah. your this is your smack up breaking news, Taz with two Z's and Taz with one Z. They are allies. <laughs> and that yeah, was Vito's absolute f- first win of the year. Just had to put them in the dress first. Yeah, well, he gets the win because uh, Nunzio or Little Guido, depending on the night. They said that on commentary. That's right. So Taz goes, isn't this uh, Little Guido? And they're like, oh, no, but that's that's only on ECW. Here he's Nunzio. Yeah, well, we have to remember that the WWE versus ECW Wednesday show did happen. That was quote unquote happened two days ago. Yeah. Because SmackDown is taped on Tuesdays. I mean Fridays. Yeah, it's still technically a Nunzio on Smacky Down. If he, sh- I don't know. I don't know if he'll be on both shows. Who knows? Uh, ah, we'll you got well, Before show. the match, before the match even started, we got ECW One Night Stand sponsor once again. ECW One Night Stand is sponsored by X Men, the official video game with the X Men Three yes. logo. Master the power of the X Men. And we get a WWE.com Raw rebound. We get a little clip of the WWE Raw magazine. It's the Spirit Squad. It's all of them. They're there. Uh, what's on this thing, dude? 12 greatest managers of all time. Austin versus Hogan. Could it really happen? Uh, I don't, <laughs> fi- fi- happen? Find out. Find out. We'll get there. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I don't think it will, uh, but... <laughs> hanging with Heenan. We couldn't deal... Uh, and then I can't see because they ran out of pixels for that part of the picture. <laughs> and then get inside Goldust's head. Welcome to Hollywood. I don't want to. I really don't <laughs> want to, dude. Not at this time. Yeah. But basically, we get a raw rebound, and uh, it is the contract signing, uh, which took place this past Monday Night Raw, with uh, John Cena and Rob Van Dam signing the contract to perform at ECW One Night Stand, where Rob Van Dam will officially cash in and turn over his Money in the Bank briefcase contract for this contract, for this match, to fight John Cena and challenge for the WWE Championship. That's very extreme. Yeah. And then John Cena gets just absolutely drubbed and uh, ganged up on by the ECW crew. Which is it is uh, Sandman, ECW legend, Balls Mahoney, Tommy Dreamer, yeah. and also Balls Mahoney, yeah, Balls and Rob Van Dam, who's in the ring. <laughs> yeah. uh, and John Cena's like, "Well, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go swinging." Bop, 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 bop. Notably, gets jumped. Uh, Sabu comes in, does his famous not chair spot because yep. he <laughs> forgets to put the chair under him because Sabu doesn't have a brain cell. My favorite worst wrestler of all time. He's so good. Yeah, he's awesome. He's so sweet. I don't got Pete here to yell at me, so. <laughs> I can say it. I can say it, dude. Um, he so he's got the he's got it. the the little snail in his ears ringing. He can hear you talking about it. Oh no! He can hear you talking shit about it's like Taboo. He felt it. It's like he really felt it. Yeah. When 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 he gets back uh, from fighting for the rights of Kosovo with Bill Clinton. He's gonna he's gonna beat you up. We get a little Mr. Kennedy promotion. They're like Kelly, Kenny, he's present. Somebody yeah, somebody's reading off an attendance sheet. And then, Mr. Kennedy, and he's coming back tonight, but not right now. Woo! We're this not right now. Kind of stupid. Yeah, it's really stupid. <laughs> like you know what would have been great actually. Made, made that Michelle McCool, and then you teamed up Michelle McCool and Mr. Kennedy. 
<laughs> that would have been like a gimmicks. nice little foreshadowing to that. Yeah. But, yeah, or, you know, if he was on Raw, tag team match striker, like it's a setup, that, that'd that be cool foreshadowing, but uh, uh, the foreshadower is too busy being the king of Raw. True. So. That's striker. Oh, we got so, our queen uh, here. Queen Charmel. No, the foreshadower is the game. The game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Queen Charmel is here to hail King Booker like we all should. Looking so right. looking so lovingly. She's very she she's very awesome, decked out man. in that dress, yeah. And she'll and, uh, she'll keep saying all hail King Booker. All hail King Booker. All hail King Booker. All right. Go to commercial. We got to talk about this. Talk about what? We got to all hail King Booker. Yes. All hail King Booker. All hail King Booker. All, All hail, hail King, Booker. King Booker. All hail King Booker. All, All hail, hail King, King Booker. Booker. Yes. This is one of those things that they're, they're pushing it. It's getting annoying, but I absolutely love it. It, it. It's one of those things where if I was watching this live, which who knows if I am, but like this just would get under your skin because you just want fucking them to come out or to say something, but they're just like, All hail King Booker. All hail King This Booker. is some great heat. And I don't think they've said anything. No. Um, I don't think they've really done anything like this recently. And you know what? I think we need an all hail King Booker button for the soundboard. I will. I'll get it on there soon. But so the, it goes commercial break. And with that, I. And we're back. And she's still saying all hail King Booker. All hail King Booker. And he comes out and he's got new music. Chee wee wee. And he is uh he is coming out to his kingly kingly uh throne. He's dressed six X six XL tuxedo. Six XL tuxedo. He's dressed up. I thought he was gonna do his little dance that he usually does, but he ha- he hasn't gotten it yet. Not yet. We're almost there. But he is uh he's very he's still kingly. ingratiating himself to his subjects. They're not we're not ready for it yet. Yeah. We uh he sits in his throne and out comes Regal and he's like Ha ha ha! Oh, what was it? Lashley came out first. Was Lashley came out first? It was Lashley. Okay, Lashley he just comes stares out first. down yes. King Booker. Stares Booker's like down. talking smack, and then as uh, Bobby Lashley's distracted, William Regal jumps Bobby, clubs him in the back of the neck, throws him into the guardrail down the ramp, just starts beating on him as he as he works him down into the ring. Bobby doesn't even get a chance to take off his United States Championship title off of his waist before William Regal just hits him with a clothesline. William Regal takes it off, throws the belt at Little Nate, and then takes the moment to uh, start clubbing Bobby Lashley with knees and closed fists until <laughs> Little Nate comes back and switches back to forearms. It was so fucking sick. You know what? Yeah. This match I shouldn't have liked, but I liked it. How could you not have liked this match? This match was good. But, like, typically I haven't been liking a lot of Bobby Lashley matches just because, you know, he's still green. It's hard for him to yeah, but, pull a longer match, but it didn't go long. It went about, he, what, seven minutes? Well, eight. Yeah, exactly. But here's, here's the thing. You got to remember, this is William fucking Regal. He, he got it. Goldberg to his best-looking match. If, True. And Goldberg is so much worse than Bobby. So you got, like, the best worker in here with him to make him look as fucking awesome as possible. And my god, fucking William Regal achieves that. You and know, this was a really good match. Anyone like to go through this one? Um, there was, a, there was a fun little moment uh, where still Regal has uh, Bobby kind of reeling back after being jumped. He hits him with a, a big clothesline and then he pushes him through the second rope. And then Bobby gets his legs stuck up between the second and bottom rope uh, and just starts clubbing on him a little bit. Uh, he pulls him out of it, throws him back in the ring, and gets him in like a... I don't even know what this is. Like a like a, like a quarter chicken wing? Because it's not a half chicken wing. But he's got his, arm, he's got oh, his yeah. left arm around un, under Bobby's left uh, like arm. And then he's got... Regal's got his left hand like wrapping under Bobby's chin, so he looks like he's gonna do like some kind of like, like, like Bumbo Mortal Kombat fatality 
but it's just like a weird like headlock kind of. Bobby works out of it and then pushes Regal into the ropes, hits him with a back body drop, and uh, just kind of starts they kind of start working to each other, you know, back and forth. Bobby really only has a couple like like moments like this really where Regal sort of works some you know technically big clubs, big rust holds, and then Bobby you know gets a big move off, but then it sort of results back to this. Um, again, you know, Bobby's kind of green, so these really aren't my favorite kind of matches here. I love Bobby, always, but, yeah, I mean, you guys liked the match better than I did. I just yeah. thought, I just thought uh, it was again, good I showing. Thought, yeah. Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought it was good, and it was, it, again, where you go, such a professional, looks really hard hitting, and I love the finish. Yes. I think the finish is great. The finish is basically Willing Regal's like, fuck this man. I'm done. I got I got this chair. I'm gonna fucking kill him and he's out of the ring. And he's just rocking ready to hit Bobby and Bobby just explodes with this fucking spear. It looked so good. And Regal like looks like not only he's split into two, but he was split into two, put back into two just to be split into two again. He is looking like he got shot in the gut ten times. And he is selling that. They're counting his ass out. King Booker is freaking out. Like, they panda him and his eyes are bulging all. And he just starts kind of, like, not running. I'd say trotting his way to fucking Regal. And he's, like, trying to pick him up. And it's funny because you can't really tell because the fucking robe is covering Regal. And it gets to eight. And King Booker just kind of, like... Gives up like ah oh, fuck I can't do this. I thought I thought and... King Booker was about to just punch him in the head and then disqualify himself. I thought that would have been sick. And then Bobby yeah, would have been screwed out of the victory. Been... I was like oh okay. He just kind of couldn't get him up. That like, would have been come on Regal. That would have been smarter to do. But this was to build Bobby as like you know he's like the new big champ stuff like yeah. That would have been a flat finish. You you wanted to show how devastating Bobby Lashley is. I know. Yeah, and, Willie Riggs. And is, he basically tells dead. him. Yeah, he basically tells him next week, King Booker, you're mine. Nah, this this was a really good segment. Maybe the, I'm overhyping the match, but like, you know, I, and I probably am a bit. But I thought like the hard hittingness of it and the way Regal helped work this thing, I thought it was effective for what it did. When I say it's a really good match, I am saying TV match, though. Yes. Keep that in mind. I Trust me, I've watched many Raw TV matches. They are not anywhere near this good 75% of the time. Not I eight. thought it was very funny that they started uh, Bobby's music after he won, and then he picks up the mic really quickly and just goes, You're mine. And then the music immediately kicks back in. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it restarted. I was like, okay. I thought he was about to say more than that. It's yeah, true. not. I mean, look, not my favorite, but I understand it's for TV. We got to We got to We got to build it out to next week, brother. Now I'm sure this will be a now. a multi weeks feud. You will have not seen the last of King Booker and Bobby. True. Then I don't know. I, I kind of I, I'm kind of enjoying the feud. You got like the old vet, the new king going against the younger new guy, like. They haven't had any matches that I've been crazy for, but with this new King Booker gimmick, it's at least more interesting. Definitely. So this is where the the show took a nosedive for me. No, <laughs> this is where it, ex- it it exceeded all expectations. I'll start this, it off. This is where the show explodes. Explodes, definitely. So yeah, Miz is here. Ty's just afraid. <laughs> and we got to throw it to our resident woman correspondent. Nico, take it away, big champ. All right. Miz is not only the host of this SmackDown, he is the host of the Bikini Con. It's the Batik. The bikini, but fuck oh, me. my. The bikini Contest. You were just, you got boobies on the That's brain, right. dude. You're gooning. You can't stop uh, thinking about it. I, I'm actually, I, I'll say I'm not gooning. <gasps> what? I have. Excuse me? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That is right. Somebody no check this guy's today. end of levels. Can we get the pulse out? Don't believe me. And so 
Miz is out. He's excited. He's got the energy. This guy, million bucks champion. I mean, come on. And he's announcing our contestants. Ashley. Then Jillian. And Crystal. And finally, Michelle McCool. That's right. That's right. So, oh, I'm saying. they get all in. <laughs> and Michelle McCool is like holding a ruler, which... I don't know why, but it just kind of resonates. Mm, it's a yardstick. Don't you ever tell me that. <laughs> How could you? How could you? <laughs> Fucking yardstick. You mm -hmm. ruined my day. Anyways, it's time to judge. And Ashley's ghost first. Now, she, now they all have robes on because, you know, part of the contest is the reveal. Uh, so Ashley's got the backwards cap on and the robe. And she unrobes to reveal this looks like a leather black bikini uh very tight and small and i'll tell you this it looks great on her it really shows off the definition in her like abs Jesus. and her like shoulders and stuff I, i'm say, i'm just hey, i'm just reviewing this i'm just saying yes it. she is she is wearing a black leather micro bikini but what really is is putting in the most work here for me personally in this outfit is the backwards cap and the fishnet yeah. like gloves and she's wearing her actual mm -hmm. wrestling boots so this is she, true. that she's she's got the accessory game on point i have no comment she's got the accessory game she's got the definition oh we know you have comments no don't comment. worry chat i, I am speaking no, oh comments. My. I, I don't know if you know this but i am anytime i do a woman's segment i am ty's thoughts and feelings on these segments Remember that, folks. Heard it here first. Anyways, she does a good, she does a great job. Next is Jillian, and I gotta say, a little disappointing. Not a big fan of the color. It's fine. Like snake skin, I, like brown. It's beige. Beige. No, it's beige. Like, it's like glittery. Yeah, glittery, glittery beige. beige. It's like, like it's a, it's it's nice if you're going to the beach, I guess. But for something like this, that's what you got. This is not. I mean, this is clearly, not a beach bikini. This is a. This is a, like a photo shoot bikini. You know what I'm now, saying? Like if you think, I oh I know. If you think she should win this contest, all I'm gonna say is go listen to her music and then come back and tell me that. Try me. Go go listen to her entire album. You won't do it. I know. Nico's listening to the album. So, I have. Don't it's don't bad. play them. Like you said, don't try them. Don't play them. If you want to comment wow. what you Next. thought about it, dog, be my guest. But Nico's gonna come for Please you. Do go do it now. Crystal's next, and Jesus, I personally, if I was voting. This I uh, would be my win. yeah, that's but... where that's where everyone's jaw dropped at the floor, and you go, oh my, Crystal, and you go, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh yeah, the definition, the move set, the colors, and she is the one who's hitting the fucking moves. Shake. Miz is so mesmerized. He tries to ask her to shake again, and he's such a geek at this point. He's, he's like, like, "My oh, God, okay. yeah, please!" My... Nah, no, no, no. Because Mike the Miz is in, and he he's just like me, folks. I'm <laughs> folding. He's folding. I'm folding. She was Crystal Marshall uh, right now before we get to the voting, has my vote. Mm -hmm. She was she was doing the belly dance. She was doing the twerking. Dog. Bruh. Yeah. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Beautiful, Insane. gorgeous woman. And, and, and I, I bet they don't give her anything, really, on this fucking show, and they treat her like shit because, of course, they do. It's Vince McMahon brand show. Yeah, well, she just now, got gripped up by Vince Finley. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I bet, I bet she could have won if she didn't get psyched out by Finley earlier. Which well, is spoiler, dude. I'm sure they were reenacting. No, 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 no. Look, look. Oh, me off with the Reddit nap, which the film is dying. You're such a real left No. Stop, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, we again, I'm again. The, you don't have to do this podcast enough. network and the members of Smack Up and Raw Down. Do not condone the actions of Vince McMahon or his cabal of nasties. <laughs> Please exactly. continue, Nico. Fuck it. Anyways, Michelle McCool decides to take the mic from Miz, and she's like, "You know what I hate? How all these female teachers get like fucking shit. Like we do all these ex 
extracurricular activities. We, you know, we have to set these lesson plans. We have to fucking teach students things. And I want to make one thing clear. We teachers, we have needs. And ladies, after seeing these C-plus bodies, which, all right, you, you are wow. the biggest fucking heel. But you can look at, it's obvious my A-plus figure is the best figure. Okay. And there is nobody in this building the that can fulfill the Stop. my needs. And she just walks off. She doesn't disrobe. And like I said, I'm guessing uh, Mark Calloway was not here tonight because. Uh... Anyway, so now Miz gets to the vote. Wow. Wow. No, hold Do on. You, you want... want to tell me somebody closely associated with The Undertaker doesn't want to take part in an election or or acknowledge its results? Guys. That's crazy. You're telling me this for the first guys, time. Guys, we can't. I, I am. Here we can, and we did. And don't worry. Come, come Tuesday, next year, 2025, oh. with 500 oh Patreons. Which the last we can get away from it. He next. No, whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> come <laughs> on, dude. Come on, dude. <laughs> come on, dude. Let's stick to the to the results back, of this back vote to the voting. First. Yes, like back to the actually democratically elected voting process we got did you like ashley crowd pops pretty actually pretty good did you like jillian crowds kind of kind of mid which kind of says a lot I, I felt a little bad but i mean come on and crowd like crystal and i don't know this is just me but it seemed like louder to some degrees but like they kind of cut it a little bit but oh, i'm not saying they did that I, I think I think it was just some parts of the audience was louder than the others, but I'd say they were tied. But you know, I, I'm sure this is scripted. Ashley gets the win. I'll say not my boo, vote. not boo, not my bikini winning. We contest. have to not overturn this president. election. <laughs> this is not we my do. bikini contest winner. Boo. Yeah, Crystal should have won. Boo. Crystal, Crystal should have absolutely won. But you know what? Ashley's not the bad choice. Once again, if Jillian won, they're going to live with my emo with CB. Oh my god, quit it. We, we, we will be storm if, if Jillian won that, we would be taking on the streets and and sectioning off Titan Towers. I agree this with you, Nico. I agree. I, I stand with you. Oh. Yeah. So they def this is they why definitely... we're the Erotica Express. I didn't say that. They definitely played around <laughs> with uh, Peacock because uh, Ashley goes to hug Miz, and then there's like a weird like cut, and then it just like mm -hmm. cuts to like Miz like spazzing out in the corner, like he just jizzed his, like he like he like he uh -huh. like he jawed his pant, like his peanut that was exploded. So funny. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what was going that, on here, that, that, but I I think they're just trying to sell how hot Ashley is, but it, uh, Miz overselling that was actually pretty funny. But, like, now, nah. this was the best bikini segment we've had all year. By far. Wow. That was complete trash. Smack, smack up, bikini up, raw down, bikini down. That's crazy. You heard it here That's first. That's true. I can't That's believe we're true. bikini That's down. That's true. We're back. We got the auto zone. Slam of the week. It was when Mark Henry killed Chris Benoit and put him out of action. That's fine. That was two entire That's weeks fine. ago. I know. They can't they can't stop forgetting about this bad boy. I, I don't think if Chris yeah. Benoit went to AutoZone and bought a new brain, he would not get the core charge back for his old brain. This is true. This is true. He should have gone to, to AutoZone. Shout out to, to all my core charge heads out there. The f get in. So uh, Mark Henry comes down to the ring. And who's in the ring? You got Raymond Rowe. Who's that? The current Eric of the Viking Raiders. Crazy. Wait. Is it? I thought he was that guy from Everybody Loves Raymond. No. Yeah, yeah same guy. <laughs> same guy, right? It's actually the same guy. It's crazy. Check it. Check his IMDb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, wait it. a minute. It is him. Yeah, right? What the heck? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, come on. Even so 
even sounded like him when he was getting slammed. Like, ow! He oh, really that's not nice. He really should not have been wearing those whitey tighties. That looked awful. He looked terrible. Shaved head, beard, oh, weird tattoos. Yeah. I thought I thought something yeah. about him that is probably not true. Um, but it just just a terrible look. He looked like he believed oh, in he, some he bad stuff. Have, he he should have kept the hair too. You know, he just it's not the same. It's not like the show, folks. He didn't. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Henry kills this fucking guy. He's throwing him around. He's smashing him up against the corner. He's just fucking three splashes. Hits him again in the corner. One strongest slam. And you, you got it. How long no, was that? No, because he, Mark Henry hits a uh, jobber in his underwear with a world's strongest slam. Goes for the pin. One, two. Henry picks him up. He says, no, 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 no. You're done when I'm done. And then gives him another world's strongest slam. One, two, three. And Henry defeats this bozo in one minute flat. One minute flat. I like okay. this. I like this. Thank you, Mark. This was a good we squash. Yeah. Thank you. We did. It makes him look... He, he looks like the baddest man in the fucking building. Yeah, this was pretty good. Yep. Um, Mark Henry picks up the mic. He says... Well, Ray Romano. <laughs> Mark Henry says, in 28 <laughs> days in Pennsylvania... Batista's coming back. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. But guess what? Everyone already knows what I'm capable of. I took out that puny Benoit. And in 28 days, in 28 days, in 28 days, Batista will figure out that the worst mistake of his life will be coming back to the WWE. And we get to figure out if it was just me, what would he have done? Oh. <gasps> Oh my! I was I was stunned. I couldn't believe that they were picking back up that storyline. I've heard only the legend of what if it was him. Like, I can't believe we're about to see this manifest. They they actually they actually do a good shot where they go close into Mock's face and they look down and you just see dead Ray <laughs> Rowan on the fucking ground, and it goes back to him and he just walks out. It's like that that's good just to show the devastation. And the size difference. Very, very peak. Uh, Enjoyed this. One of the few good Kevin Dunn shots. Guess what, guys? He's back. What? Mr. Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy! He doesn't do his normal shtick. He just kind of comes out to the ring. And uh, we got Scotty Too Hottie as his opponent. <laughs> Which, wow, welcome oh, back. I'm out. Did he not? I'm out. He comes to the ring. Yeah. Did he say stuff? And then, yeah. And then Chimmel, yeah. Chimmel was like, from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And then Mr. Anderson. Mr. Uh, Anderson. Kennedy. Mr. Anderson <laughs> Kennedy. Okay, sick. He pushes Tony Schimmel out of the way. And then, boom, puts his hand up, spotlight, microphone comes down. He called for it. Yeah. I am Mr. Kennedy. Goes up to the Kennedy. bottom left uh, rope by the hard cam. Silences the crowd a little. Mm-hmm. Kennedy. And then throws the throws the long mic away, and it, it mm-hmm. disappears. Of yeah. course, because we were in his domain, we were in his genjutsu for a moment. He takes off yeah. his shirt and then throws it directly down at the ground, uh, mm-hmm. because he's a bad guy. And then Scotty Too Hottie comes out. Yeah. I was I was like, oh shit, Scotty. I, I always forget Scotty Too Hottie's still here. Dude, but I, like I didn't even know he it. was here. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Scotty Too Hottie's great. Dude, I, 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 I got hyped for it. But man, Scotty's looking a little old. Yeah. Yeah, that hair's going back okay. a little bit. They don't even come out with his, yeah, let him come out with his bucket hat. He, what was he wearing? Uh, he's got some nice jeans, though. He's got the jeans, the, the a... dark, dark blue jeans that say Scotty uh, in flames yeah. down. He's got the Night Cortezes on, uh, and yeah, he's got he's like got... a like a red plaid uh, button up. Van... Yeah, short sleeve button up. Yeah. And he's trying to take the shirt off, but well, Kennedy basically assaults him and gets the start. Um, he's punching him down. He then gets a couple punches in. He does, what is that, a fucking snap there? 
you just kind of toss the guy? I think yeah, so. Yeah, Kennedy tried like uh, like shoulder tossing him. Then Kenny, uh, Scotty reversed it and then actually mm -hmm. got him with the toss. Hoo hoo. Uh, yeah. Kennedy eventually clotheslines Scotty and gets a 1 2 count. Um, but this is really just a match for Kennedy. We don't we don't get anything too crazy. There's no worm, so temper your expectations. We don't do the worm here. We don't dance here. We don't got the worm. We don't got boogeyman yeah. eating worms. There's no worms at all. Don't expect no. it. This no worms. This was a more respectful squash. Like it. So the last one was just complete squash. They're dead. They had to give Scotty a little more. Because he's been around, and you know he, he, he's still a name to the crowd. But I mean, this was still as a tool. It's still squash. A uh, still squash. Yeah. Yeah. And, there was a cool uh, moment where know. Kennedy tries to get him into like a like a Russian leg sweep, but they were by the rope, so <laughs> Kennedy goes back for it, but misses because Scotty held on. I uh, thought that was fun. Uh, Scotty that tries was. to get him in the in the corner, uh, but Kennedy hits him with his elbow. Kennedy tries to come out, but Scotty hits him with his elbow. They transition out to the other side of the turnbuckle. Uh, Scotty Irish whips Kennedy into the corner and then runs to bash him, but Kennedy gets out of the way and then clubs him in the back and is going up to the top rope for his... What is his finisher called again? I know it's a moonsault, but... It's the Kenton bomb. With yeah, a I devastating a Kenton, bomb. Kenton bomb. You said it was a moonsault? That was a Swanton, or a Senton bomb. Oh, you're right. It yeah, looked like a Senton. Or a swan. Yeah, he calls it the Kenton, I think. Yeah. You're right. No, you're right. I was yeah. wrong. That's crazy. This is, the, this is the very first time. Hold on. Smack I, up, I, listeners. I, this is the very first time that I... Uh, Smack Up member Joe have been wrong on the podcast, so I just want to apologize you, to you. I want to apologize again. to my family. I want to apologize to the people at home. I'm going to do better. Okay. I appreciate it's that. It's okay, uh... because Joe and I are the new faces of Smack Oh, Up. you guys are the new breed? We're the Erotica Express. It's co yeah, we're the new. Yeah, yep. you already heard our name. That's us. The Erotica Express. We're changing the game. So he might have been wrong. He admitted it. But guess what? We counter that. He's not wrong anymore. Don't ever fact check me again, you son of a bitch. Okay, sorry. Never dude. fact check him again. He'll beat you up. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna Kenton bomb you off the chicken and asparagus table. No. Yeah. And you know what you're gonna end up like? You know what you're gonna end up like? Who? Chavo Guerrero. Ah, uh, Vito. Oh, we might have gone too far. No, that's no, that's the next part. <laughs> If, if we no, but if we make if we make somebody like Chavo, we might have gone too far. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah, well, maybe not like that, but you know, you know, there are consequences. Yeah. Consequences. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Nico. <laughs> yeah, you got the dub. We cut, Mr. Nico. Nico. I don't care about Mr. Kennedy. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I don't, I don't give two shits either. <laughs> hey, I wish I could. I'll care about Mr. Anderson. Nah. Catch us in catch a, catch us in five to seven years when we finally get there. Yep. Da, 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 so Chavo <laughs> and Eddie. Chavo okay. and Eddie. Eddie. He's here. <laughs> Eddie. Uh, uh, Ray Mysterio is oh, putting on a on. shirt. Yeah. Yeah, he's putting on a shirt. Yeah, because he's disgusting. In the in the back, right. he has the same. Also, he has the same shirt up on a hanger as he is wearing as well. Uh, so I like that he only has one shirt. It's good. It's good. It's not good. What and so Chavo comes out and he's like, "Hey, look, you know I got your back, right? I, if you go to ECW, your decision's cool with me. If you stay here, you know you're." It's cool with me, man. I got you. And fucking Rey Mysterio is like, hey, thanks, man. And oh, yeah, remember how you took that chair shot for me? I don't think I told you this, but thanks for that. Gracias. And he's like, and Chavo's like, de nada. And I'm just sitting here like, you never think the fucking man? It took you, what? What has it been? Two weeks? 
to say, hey, thanks for taking that chair shot for me so I didn't lose. Thanks, man. Hey, he kept calling him Vito, too, and I was like, huh? Vato. I forgot Vito. his Chavito. Oh, it's funny because on Peacock, they translate it to Vito. Yeah. Well, no, he was... So it's just like, hey, Vito. Yeah, you're just like, Vito. Vito. <laughs> so, well... I, I, I think it's supposed to be a Spanish term. Well, no, no. It, his name is Chavito. He says Chavito. Oh, so then, yeah, it's just... But... He went you the other way with his name. We, we yeah. just saw yes. Fuck, yeah, well, we just saw fucking Vito on the thing. That's so confusing. I know. That's what I'm saying. Well, he's saying he's saying Vato. No, he's like not. He's dog. saying Vito, like because his name's that, Chavito. That, he's not saying Vato. And of course, after yeah. Anyways, I, it, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I had no idea Chavo's name's actually Chavito. Yeah. So that it's news to me. I I didn't catch that reference. So, but you know. Just after thinking this man for taking a chair for you, you're going to put him in distress because he's like, hey, listen, Chavo, uh, you should maybe reconsider. And Chavo's like, no, I'm retired. I'm done. I quit. And he's like, but reconsider? Wrestling's in your blood. What are you going to do? You can't work in an office. You fucking don't know how to read. You can't write. You don't know how a computer works. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you going to go in construction? Yeah, you can pick things up, but, you know, put them down or use stuff. You can only Chavo, hit people with those. Chavo, you're a deadbeat. You're a wrestler. <laughs> you bozo. Chavo. You balding, nasty bozo. Come wrestle, dude. <laughs> you fuck. Yeah, you fucking bum. Like, dude, like you can't even walk a dog. Fucking you, wrestling's in your blood. That's all you can do. You have worth nothing more than your wrestling skills. <laughs> you're making Eddie sad, Chavo. What are you doing? <laughs> so fucked up. Yeah. yeah. You want to think of it? Your dead uncle you fuck up wait you think your dead uncle's gonna smile on you if you're fucking working a nice office job Ray, dude i thought you were the, the face table? dude i thought you were the face while you quit grilling this man fuck you chavo dude what, what have you been doing i uh, know and he fucking, fucking hates nobody you nobody like this dude and he hates you dude yeah i know like and he, he's doing that fake nice thing where he's like, hey, you know, it's like, I, I'm, I just care about you, but you're a fucking bum. Like, <laughs> this is all you can do. But I'm, I'm saying this because you need to hear it because I love you. You fucking suck. I see that, it's very man. manipulative from the World Heavyweight Champion. I'm just saying. Loaded, loaded questions from Ray about Chavo's yeah. character. And Chavo's just like, hey, man, come on. Yeah, and, and you know, Ray leaves at him with very ominous think about it think and about chavo it. just looks so upset he, he looking like he's thinking a little bit but he looks like he just got fucking the shit kicked out of him verbally and he did all because he took a chair shot for this man what a heel our champions become it's true it's crazy it's insane and he just and then ray just leaves and then chavo's just like ah ah Ah, uh, Eddie. Eddie. What am I going to do with your stupid nephew, your deadbeat nephew? Ah, uh, Eddie, what can I do? Ah. Uh, uh, that was insane. I couldn't believe our world champion, Rey Mysterio, finally fucking buried somebody. <laughs> Chavo, you, wanted, you you couldn't even get a job at McDonald's, you dumb oh, fuck. Chavo, Chavo's gone, dude. He's still cutting into him. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm a hallway, dude. Fuck. Fucking everybody at catering can hear it, too. And then, yeah, jarringly you enough, hear this fucking dumbass. He wants to cut lawns. He doesn't even know how to walk a motor. Oh, dude. <laughs> Next week we got Bobby versus <laughs> King Booker. I'm ready for that. Official again. Another Should match. Be good. Should be good. And then the jarring fucking moment of the night. Michael Cole standing in the ring. I was like, ah. Scared me. Scared me. Hey. We'll see that. That was that quirked up white boy doing there. He's like, we're here to finally figure out if. Ray Mysterio, and then he gets fucking stiff armed like he was playing college football 25. And he goes, Ah, shit! And Taz's like, You know what, Cole? I'm going to take over on this one. Because guess what? I don't even care if he's made his decision yet. I hate you, Jerry Lawler. I'm going to choke you out Sunday. But look into my eye. He takes off his sunglasses. Again, another jump scare. You go, Ah! Yeah. You're like, Holy shit, he has eyeballs. It was scary, dude. He goes, look into my eyes. Yeah. I swear on my child, shout out the hook, that I will I kill you, you <laughs> Lawler. Well, honestly, I'm going to say this. I think Hook's transphobic. 
Oh, <laughs> what God. in the hell? You can't say that. But Taz goes, I'm going to go where <laughs> I belong. I'm going home. I hate you, Michael Cole. I'm sick of you. I'm going to ECW for good. And he pushes Cole again and leaves with a smile I, on his face. I, I'm just... And that yeah. dastardly I, I Paul Heyman. Mention... Oh, go on. Because because before we go, because um, this happened in the Vito and Nunzio match, so it like, but this is where they started kind of building up that like Taz was going to leave because he was kind of getting a little defensive. But it, it's funny because this whole time, Michael Cole, like during this match was going like, he was like, you know, you just seemed a little like, I don't know, a little more agitated at that Wednesday show. And fucking Taz is like, what? What are you, what are you saying? I'm just defending my roots. I, I'm just proud of it. You know, and I'm in a course I like him here. You know, he's doing a good job. And like Michael Cole's like, yeah, you're doing a great job. I love you, buddy. You're so great. And he's like, yeah. And then like they come up, they have matching fucking goatees. And Taz is like, fuck you, Michael Cole. You're a bitch. I'm, like I'm going back home because fuck this show. And it's like, Michael Cole has been so goddamn nice to you. What the fuck are you on, Taz? Dude, Michael, Cole, Taz Michael Cole went to the goatee barber with you, Taz. What the hell, dude? You guys got matching <laughs> goatees. No. This is bullshit, dude. <laughs> no, no. no. You know what? Okay. I think I think Paul Heyman was saying Joe that and I have it. he had the DMs from the old text messaging Nokia, and he said Michael Cole's been talking shit about you, dude. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah that, I heard nasty, that nasty, nasty, nasty white boy. But I think he was faking saying it. mean yeah. stuff to you, Taz. Yeah. yeah, of course Paul was lying. Are you kidding me? He's Paul Heyman. Of course he was lying. Yeah, true. Of course, but look, you we, know, we wouldn't be I, in this guess... situation if Tommy Dreamer wasn't a coward. So. <laughs> yeah, this is true. What a little bitch. Speaking of Paul Heyman, guy. he's at the top of the the ramp and he gives him a big hug. Taz is so happy to be back home, <laughs> and here comes mm-hmm. Ray Mysterio. Oh. And Michael Cole looks like he he just got fucking like dumped. Yeah, like he the did. Fucking worst way. It, it, he's just got they his hands boys. up. Like, what the fuck was that? Are you serious? I thought we were boys. He looks so sad, getting told off. It's like I I, I felt so bad. Michael Cole did nothing wrong. Okay, fuck you, Taz. You're a heel. Go go on that shit show. We don't need you at Smack Up. Crazy man. I will miss Taz. I will miss you, Taz. With Tuesday. I will miss. I will miss Taz. I- I'm just mad. I'm just mad at what he did. True. My emotions are not right right now. I I, I feel like Michael Corrin. I was blindsided by this. Of course, uh, nor nor would I ever uh, read the subtext uh, of what Taz has been talking about all night and the past Wednesday and the weeks before regarding ECW One Night Stand because I know people who use uh, subtext and they're cowards. I'm totally blindsided yeah. by what Taz just said now. He's going to ECW. Are you kidding me, dog? And now Paul Heyman's talking to me about how he's not popular. Has been He's been sending out feelers to everybody. You know, he's out here to confirm the the rumor is true. He sent out an offer to Rey Mysterio and Bruno Mars is gay. What? Uh, <laughs> it's true. If you know, you know. Okay. Paul Heyman is... Just talking about okay, how too. how uh, much time Rey Mysterio spent in ECW, how he reached out and gave Rey Mysterio his start in the U.S., uh, and it would mean a lot if Rey Mysterio could also, like Taz, come home, be our ECW champion. I'm proud of you. Let's do something about this. And then Rey Mysterio does come out with his Buyaka Buyaka. Uh This is probably the best entrance he's ever gotten. He got rid of the uh, visor, dude. He got rid of the visor. There's no stupid 619 visor. He he actually did the pop-up from, like, above, like, the ramp where the glass is. Came down, started high-fiving everybody. He did not, he's not getting jumped. Insane. He actually has time to high-five yeah. his fans and embrace all the kids that are wearing Rey Mysterio masks. Mm-hmm. You know? This is good. This is the yeah. one of the first times we actually see <laughs> Rey Mysterio can just be a cool guy mm-hmm. that can chill out. This is true. And then he comes up and, and goes, It's nice. No. I ain't going. Uh, Eddie. Uh, Eddie told me Eddie told me in the back, I, I can't go to ECW. Eddie, Eddie told me you don't <laughs> yeah. pay guys. 
Yeah, Eddie. I can't. But hey, you should get Chavo a job. That fucking bum can't do anything. Right Heyman now. goes, oh, okay. I I wish you well against Sabu, uh, and uh, against Finley. I think you're gonna need it. I'm gonna go uh, do commentary now, and Taman just like starts crying a little bit. He's tearing up a little bit. He's really <laughs> mad, even though he just fucked on Michael Cole. He's gonna go yeah, hang he, out with him. He told Ray that he's he's proud of the person he is. He's proud of the man he is. He's proud of the competitor he's become, uh, and that he says that uh, he'll he'll need the good luck for his match coming up tonight. With uh, Finlay, Finlay, and does and he does jump scare Paul Heyman. Uh, he, Paul Heyman rather jump scares Michael Cole on commentary. Michael Cole's like, "What are you, what are you doing here?" And Paul is rubbing in his face. He's like, "Well, you're out of a uh, color commentator. I thought I could come, you know, pick up your little slack." And Michael Cole's like, "Paul, I'm sick of you, dog. I'll kill you. <laughs> you you took my best friend from me." <laughs> he doesn't know about the DM yeah, stuff. Just getting tortured. Till later, we'll figure that out later too. Finley's yeah, here. That's a part of a different. Uh, and he's ready to fight. Arc. I heard he likes to do the that. Boy, does he fight? I wish. I wish we had main event Marty, dude. I don't want to go through this. I'm so sick of Rey Mysterio main events, dude. This match yeah, it's not makes Ray look so bad again. Well, no, hold on, no, 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 not the whole match. Because they we get a we get a couple lockups between all the corners and then Finley gets Ray finally uh, up in the top left. I have buckle. one point that's gonna and ruin everything he, for you. He he gives Ray a stiff forearm, and then Ray like looks back and then gives Finley a return forearm. Finley reels back to the middle. Uh, Finley just starts power slamming uh, Ray around, slapping him around. He Finley does his patented uh I'm gonna grab your shoulders really hard and Ray, you have to pretend this hurts. And then Ray goes, Ah, this hurts. Uh and then Ray eventually like works up out of that and like starts kneeing Finley in the face. Uh they eventually uh Finley gets like kicked to the outside of the ring, escaping a six one nine attempt. Uh Ray goes back to the ropes, uh and goes for like a baseball slide, but then Finley picks up the the apron. No, Rey Mysterio faked the baseball. He remembered. Slide he because, remembered. Yeah, Finley Finley put the apron down because he thought he got him, and then Ray bounces himself off the top rope and kicks him through uh, the second rope into the announce table. Good spot, and pretty much the beginning yeah. of the end here, because uh, Finley clubs Ray down. Uh, onto the floor, yep. uh, his feet kind of go under the apron, and the Rey Mysterio... He gets, gets sucked, sucked in the, so the hard. Bottom. And you're thinking, okay, who the fuck just gripped up our World Heavyweight Champion like it was nothing and slid him under, and it was a little bastard, as Michael Cole was, calls him, and it, was little it beeps. Bleak. It beeps out, yeah. It was, well, we, uh, saw the light, we saw the, the green light under the, the ring, which Michael Cole, for the first time, has acknowledged. So, you're telling me our world heavyweight champion is getting fucking killed by a little bastard because he yeah. got sucked under and beat the shit out of, and comes out like actually broken. Yeah, Finley like goes under the ring for a little bit to like reach out and like like get him, and he kicks little of bastard. Of course, in the face. Finley knows. Yeah. He pulls Ray out, and he pulls Ray Bray's on his stomach, and little bastard is just. Eating Rey Mysterio's ass crazy style. He's got like he's got his whole motor motorboating his booty hole. It's insane. It is. Hashtag not my champion. Not my champion. That's crazy. Basically, uh Green Kane just begins to once again club down Ray, puts him in a camel clutch. Uh, eventually relents. He gives Rey Mysterio a nasty backbreaker. Uh, it just... It's just nah. sad, man. It's just, it's just... nah. It's just fucking sad that we have to deal with a champ like this, man. It's tough. Ray tries to reel back. He gets Finley in the corner and then uh, <clears throat> Another goes interference. Like, to the top of the turnbuckle. And starts like you know how they do like the the he's the, the ten the ten count punch, but he's doing it from behind yeah. Finley on the ropes, 
and then body splashes Finley. Uh, tries to set him up for the six one nine. Um, does a roll through uh, like pin, or Finley can't get him planted, and then Ray gets up and kicks him in the face. Uh, just, but it didn't mean nothing because then Finley then goes for the <clears throat> for a body slam, but Ray like flips out of it. And then gets uh, Finley with a Hurricane Rana into the ropes. He's calling for it, baby. And then he, <laughs> he's going to the rope. And then, oh my god, it's Sabu with a chair. Ray kicks him. Uh, Sabu gets up and Ray punches him again. And then the ref goes and checks on Sabu. Which gives Finley a moment to grab his shalili And club <sighs> Ray in the face with it. Gives him a... A white noise. I refuse to call it a Celtic cross. It's a Celtic cross, because, dude. Yeah, I don't want to call it that. Come no, on. It, it, it's no, Seamus is Seamus is Seamus Seamus is Celtic cross is better, which is just a yeah. jackknife. Mm -hmm. um, true. Yeah, and then I'm good. Finley wins. Yeah, I'm good, clean. Dude. Well, not clean. Totally the opposite of clean. I'm sorry. But, three, three, three so, fucking dirty things happen. Still, brain our world brain. champion gets punked again. Yeah, mm -hmm. sick. So stupid. Rey Mysterio Get left it. reeling, uh, in the ring, and then Sabu, oh baby, does his dumb point up <laughs> to the sky, <laughs> throws the chair. Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio him. flips out of the ring a million times. Why would he throw it uh, like that? That was a nasty chair. Yeah, this was fucking stupid. <laughs> I love oh, Sabu so gosh. much. He's so you bad. Know. He's so <laughs> bad. Sabu goes to Sabu pulls a table out, but then the table gets sucked back into under the rug, the ring. Sabu's like, like what, what the, the fuck? fuck, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? Pulls pulls that same table out again. He's like, all right, cool. It didn't happen. Again. It didn't mean nothing. Why did it happen? <laughs> Little bastard is under there, dude. Damn Little b word is under there. And he. And then he sets up for his big move, like jumping off the chair on the ropes and giving him the leg drop, which he does hit. He does hit it this time. Sabu does hit it Air like Sabu. Shit, and no, this is probably one of the normalest. No, Air Sabus here's I've the ever thing. Seen. So he jumps off, double leg drops Ray, and as he hits it, the fucking back of the table smacks him in the back of the skull. So he still fucked it up and hurt himself. It's so good, <laughs> dude. It, watch it again. Maybe I'll show it here. Look at it. it just like bops him. He goes ah. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, you got it. Ah. You got it. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is, it, it it's just like from like the chair to the ropes. It just looks so slow that there's like no momentum in this fucking thing. So I don't even get the setup. You, you'd get the same if you just hit the rope. He stops on the rope for a second. And it's yeah, just, and then he hits his head to the back of the chair. It's dumb. It's I love bad. the triple jump moonsault where one of the hops is just to the first little part of the chair. <laughs> I never understood that as a kid. I'm like, triple yeah. jump moonsault. So he hits the bottom of the chair, the top of the chair, and the top of the rope. Like he's Yo. fucking Mario. Yeah. It counts, dude. And, and like, I don't know. I feel like somebody better could do this more impressively, but this Se Sebu can't. He, just, he doesn't have he, He's not his uncle. No, not at all. But I love uh, him. He's still good. And I can't wait for the awesome. match. He's awesome and I love this it. This was the go-home show? You make Ray look like a fucking bitch again? Oh my god. Well, he's, he well, he could have at least won the match. Him. No, of course not. He could have at least, could have at least beat Finley, but like, nah. You can't have the nah, World Champ get a win going into the pay-per-view. You have to make Sabu look strong, dude. Come on. Uh, and Finley has to eat another look, win. You know, hey, hey, normally... He Normally, I'd agree, but you know what? Ray did decide to just be the biggest dick to no, Chavo today. No, no, so no, no. kind of no. deserved this Hear one. Hear me out. Hear me out. So we got, what, Great American Bash with Great Khali, Mark Henry, Kane, and fucking Finley, because they all pinned the World Heavyweight Champion. They should get a title shot, right? Please? Hello? JBL didn't fucking beat him. He got a title shot. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't fucking matter. Ray's just the champ for no reason. Well, you get a title well, shot. No, no, I'm not saying, today. like... I'm Look, I'm not talking about booking sense. I'm just saying, comically, Ray was kind of a dick today. He kind of deserved an L. It's true. He's, oh, Chavo wasn't there to help him. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, Ch 
Chavo's well, Chavo's upset. He's probably crying now because he's like, why does like my so friend my name's not Vito. Me when I said I retire. My name's not Vito, yeah, dude. Why you kept calling me Vito? Am I wearing a dress? It doesn't it's not that big of a shirt. Is he calling me fat? What the fuck's it, going there's on? So many layers. Is he calling to this. me Italian. Oh, Man, God. fuck this show. Is he I'm not... Yeah. No, this show was a great. That no, was was it? <laughs> it was, dude. Half the segments you liked. Eh. But it you makes. You didn't really start getting mad till this last twenty minutes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's good up yeah, until so a this point. Is one of the... Yeah, 20 minutes. Look, like, we, 20 I, minutes I of our... This is our main champion that we're supposed to care about and be, like, the biggest fucking fans of. And they don't, we don't give a shit. I would have agreed with you in past episodes, but I'm just over it. This is now what I expect of Rey Mysterio. So if Rey Mysterio actually wins a match, I will be uh, dubious of the intent of what's going mm. to happen to him. So now yeah. I know we're, we're sort of in the normalcy of Rey Mysterio, which is unfortunate. But uh, I enjoyed at least 45 minutes of this one hour and 25 minutes and seven seconds Peacock broadcast. So, yeah, I, for a TV I, show, I, 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 for a TV show, I'd call it a win. Are you excited for ECW yeah. One Night Stand? I'm excited to drink Modelo's at your birthday party. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Yeah, Happy yeah. Birthday, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be it's 45th birthday. I'm 45, guys. Oh my god. No, I'm not a I'm, I thought you were high is gonna be barely you can tell legal. How old you are. I'm barely legal. I'm forty five. Oh yeah, eat No, editor Ty's forty five. Well you editor Ty. <laughs> You've been smacked editor up. Tie. Editor Ty. You've been smacked up. Put Get up me out of here. McCool and all the bikini contests. Let's go. Ah! I love you, Crystal. No!